Okay, thanks for looking in. Now we're going to make some seed trays. It's sun shining, the birds are singing, it's mid-January. <laughs> We'd like to think it's coming along before too long in springtime. Uh, I need to sow some broad beans, so I need some seed trays. Uh, just an old bit of gash timber from a bit of Douglas that I've been working on some construction work. I don't like throwing stuff away, it's normally go in the fire, but I'll show you how to make a few seed trays that are quite expensive to go and buy. And as you'll probably know by now, I just like making things, so here we go. Have a glue. Maybe. Yeah. Just ordinary old PVA construction glue. Waterproof. Good stuff. Fingers too close to these things. Perfect. Marvellous. But you can get little brushes and things for doing that with, but nothing like using your fingers. Okay, we've cut out a bit of old gash wood. How about four? There's no particular size for them. I mean, if you all want them or even sizes, you'd have to cut it to the sizes. But uh, that's going to be like that. So we need to cut two pieces. That's going there. That's going there. Let's spread those out a little bit. Okay, we're just going to knock those together, for which we need a nail gun. I think the compressor's already blown up, so it shouldn't make too much noise. Let's have a glue. Maybe. Just ordinary old PVA construction glue, waterproof stuff. You can imagine I was a pretty mucky kid. When I was very young out on the farm, I was ploughing once on an old open tractor, old crawler tractor, right up on top of the downs, and it was freezing cold. And my old mum said, whatever do you keep doing to your socks to make them so black? She never used to see me ploughing along with my Wellington boots over the exhaust on the tractor. <laughs> Happy days, I suppose they've all got heaters now. 
and I didn't make a mistake, that's for a little bit of drainage, not that it needs much, but it's a uh, like that. Better not to get glue all over the nail gun. Marvellous little seed boxes. Off up the garden now then, and we'll go and plant some beans. Okay, here we are up the garden. Nice bit of compost in our new seed tray that we've just made. Tuck it in nicely. There we go. Not too hard, just 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 firm it a bit. You can sow broad beans directly in the garden, but I've always found that when you do that, the blooming mice or something eat them and they get destroyed. The price of seed these days, even with these dobies from the UK, are very good seeds, but they're quite expensive. You do them in trays like this, you do get them all. And you can plant them all and then you get nice even rows. Put them all up the right way with a little. I love these things. Really well. And don't tell me you've got to keep a cat, because I don't believe that. My wife's got a cat. And our friend Jules brought her the cat, an, an igloo, a nice bed, especially for the cat. And what do you think? The mice have eaten the back out of that. It's good, huh? Tell me that mice, cats catch mice. Don't believe you. Now you made me lose count. Two, four, seven. No, that's fine. That's all right. A bit more compost on top. Get your hands into it. Don't be worried about it. That's what they're for. They should take about seven or eight days and they'll be popping their heads up. And when they get to nice two or three leaves, about that size, I should put them over in my plastic tunnel. It's a bit cooler in there because beans are hardy. It doesn't matter if they get a bit of frost. Um, but it just keeps them nice. And I guess I'll be planting those out in the open soil in the garden. Oh, probably third week in March, something thereabouts. They... And then we'll have lovely broad beans. And now we're going to put it in this little hotbed thing here. And they sit in there for a week and they'll soon shoot their old heads up. These are my seed potatoes, are the first ones that will go in the tunnel. I've actually got some potatoes that I put in in the autumn in the tunnel, but the frost has uh, attacked them a bit. But they may be all right. We'll have a look at those later. And if anybody would like a lemon for their gin and tonic, proper way to end the day, or perhaps you'd prefer an orange to go into your glass of port. Chin chin, don't forget the thumbs up.